guys. Hello. Hello, everyone. Well, welcome back to another episode of Toilet Talks. Have you taken your shit today? I hope so. Okay, let's get into it. So, Sanders Kennedy. I know, I know. No one wants to talk about him. No one wants to talk about him. He is the quote-unquote bad guy of YouTube. He took down Grandpa Dawson, and y'all unhappy. So, he's the bad one. But you know, whether you believe in the Bible or not, or you've read it, there was this uh, parable in there about the prodigal son. And that's what I kind of think about Sanders Kennedy right now. I think, should he return? You know? Because let's just keep it 100, okay? All of us like a little tea, a little juice, a little gossip, honey. We, you know, listen at the water cooler at work. You know, you sip your tea. You watch Nick Snyder, Rich Lux. You watch the news, honey. You watch Fox. You watch CNN. Everybody loves to know information about someone else. Everybody loves to be in someone else's business, okay? Now, the way he went about it, I don't agree with it, okay? From what I understand, and I don't know everything because I'm not in his bedroom or in his call list, uh, on his call list, he basically invented the drama to report on the said drama. And people do that all the time, but what he did was, in my opinion, and what the perception is, is that he took it to the next level and involved the legal system and basically lied. Um, so, or twisted your truth, however you want to word it. And that's not cool. Okay. Um, personally, I like Sanders Kennedy. I like his style of tea. I, in my opinion, I thought he had matured from when he first started reporting on Jeffree Star back in the day. As far as, you know, I feel like all the quote unquote drama slash commentary channels do that. They pick one person. And then they just report on them constantly and constantly, day in, day out, day in, day out. And for Sanders, it was Jeffrey, like three or four years ago. Some people pick James Charles and report on him. There are channels on YouTube who will just report on food, uh, foodie beauty. And that's how they became popular. So everyone does it. Everyone does it. Um, and to me, some of those channels take it too far. But I just don't watch those channels anymore. If I don't agree with someone's doing, I don't watch it. But at the same time, I feel like just like we're, you know, some of us want to buy Jeffree Star's uh, makeup because we say, well, you should be separating the makeup from the person. Like, I love Kamora Black. And she, and she says that, or he says that all the time, that um, he supports the quality, not the person, basically. That's it. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he says. And it's like, okay, well, shouldn't we do the same thing? My thing is this. If you're going to say one thing for one person, then the same rule should apply for the others. So if he, meaning Sanders Kennedy, did something wrong, and we're always telling him, or people are always saying he shouldn't be canceling people, then the same thing should apply to him when people want to cancel him. So... I hope that if he does decide to come back, I know he deals with mental issues. So maybe he's dealing with that right now because basically a lot of people on the internet were coming after him. I'm pretty sure some people were bullying him and sending him nasty messages. Um, so maybe he's taking a break for those reasons. Maybe he's taking a break for legal reasons. I don't know. But I would personally like to send him well wishes and hopefully he's learned from this because... At the end of the day, that's what we want. Whether you show your improvement uh, to the public or not, hopefully you've improved for yourself. And um, I just hope if he decides to come back, that he comes back and just learns from this and just is himself. You don't have to invent drama. It's plenty of it out there. All you have to do is research it, find it, report on it, and sip your tea, honey. Um, and the bigger picture of it is, is that, you know, sometimes we'll do anything for clout, like, you know, Miss Cardi say, and so many others. And sometimes you'll do anything for fame, do anything for money, do anything to please others. And I think that's what he did. That's my opinion. 
okay? But it might because, you know, you have other drama channels and other comment commentary channels who came after him who were surpassing his numbers. So maybe he felt like he needed to do something to, you know, up the game and put himself back in the game. I'm trying not to, the window is behind me because, you know, I need to ear off the bathroom. Um, so, yeah. What was I doing before? Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Um, I think I'll end it here because the sun is trying me. Okay. Anyway, guys, I need to shave. I need to uh, less lessen the ugliness on this this mug and that's pretty much all i had to say about it um have your opinions subscribe if you like like if you like and always remember get you a boo in the pool and all your life's problems will probably be solved now i need to say bye to this fly or bee and i also need to say goodbye to y'all bye y'all